I'm Caller Advice and I am back for another edition of RDAP Monday. I received an email yesterday from a defendant who was just sentenced to 30 months in prison. He was concerned because even though the judge recommended the RDAP program, which by the way is not a guarantee to get in, it's only a recommendation, despite the recommendation, his lawyer asked for a prison that does not have, uh, does not have RDAP. And he said, well, what does this mean? Can I still get into the program? And I'm going to chat with him later, but I wanted to educate all of you who have yet to be sentenced and who are going to get most likely sentenced to more than 24 months and who want RDAP. It's easiest if you go directly to a person who has the program. Because if you don't, if you go to Taft, for example, where I serve time, you're going to surrender to Taft, you're going to go through the interview, go through the process, wait weeks, potentially months, and even if you get accepted, you then have to furlough to a prison that has RDAP. The furlough could be through the transit, the chain gang, which is uncomfortable. Even if your family could pick you up and you have eight or ten hours to get to the prison, you then have to restart at a whole new facility. You're starting back at the bottom and having to get adjusted. And worse, worst of all, I think, if it took months to get in and then you finally get transferred and get accepted, it might impact you getting the full time off for the program. So it's easiest from my expert experience, and I've been doing this since 2008 and I help hundreds of clients successfully get into and complete RDAP, it's easiest if you go directly to a prison that has it. And for those defendants on the West Coast, specifically in California like me, I'm in Los Angeles, the camp at Lompoc has been closed uh, they, to make room for uniform. They used to allow a variance where prisoners in the camp could go up to the low to take it, uh, to take RDAP in the low. Though I've learned from a client they're no longer letting prisoners go from the camp to the low, which means you're going to have to transfer if you get sentenced directly to long life. Like anything else in life, do your due diligence, prepare, and if you do, your outcome will be different from the majority of people who just sort of wing, wing it, wish or hope for a, a better outcome. Uh, be on the lookout for more uh, videos from our RDAP Mondays, and of course, if you have questions, you can call me at 818-424-2220. Until our next video, I wish you all well, and I encourage you to work hard.